Hey guys, welcome to the 171st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be uh, basically adding our contacts um, to both our list view and an internal list. So the first thing that we're just going to want to do here is double click on this add contact button. Alright, so then we're going to want to go up here and create a list that will hold um, all of our contacts. So I'm just going to say list and it'll be a list of people so we can use this person class right here so person and I'm just going to call it people and set it equal to a new list of persons or people alright so we're just going to want to create a new person right here I'm just going to call it P and set it equal to a new person and then we're going to want to set all these properties in here and they will be whatever that the user sets so we're going to say um, p dot name equals and then the person's name will be in this text box so text box one we can just say text box one's text right there and then we can say that their um, street address will be equal to um, text box three's text so text box three's text and then we can say their email address will be equal to text box two's text which is this text box so text box two's text and then we can say that their birth or their date time is this date time pickers value so we can say p dot birthday equals date time picker one dot value and date time picker one is just this right here next to the birthday label and then additional notes we'll store in the additional notes property so we can just say p dot additional notes equals text box fours text so text box four text all right so now we're just going to want to add this person to this people list right here so we're going to say people dot add then this person that we just created and we're also going to want to create a new uh, list view item and add it to this list view right here so we're going to say list view one dot items oops items dot add and since we're only going to be having one column right here we're not even going to have columns it's just going to be basically a list of people's names we can just put a string in here so p dot name all right so now when we debug here and type in someone's name adam email address uh, at gmail dot com street address mains now let's put a number down main street birthday I'll leave it at that and additional notes blah 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 and just click add contact and then it'll add that person right there and the last thing that we're going to want to do is just clear out everything all the information in here so we're going to say uh, text box one's text equals nothing, text box two's text equals nothing, text box three's text equals nothing, text box four's text equals nothing, and we're also going to want to reset the um, date time picker to the current time. So we're just going to say date time picker dot value equals date time, oops, date time dot now. Alright, so now when we go ahead and add a person to this uh, list box and to our list or our people list up there, uh, it should just clear everything out of here. So I'll just type Adam, uh, uh, random notes, and click add contact, it should just clear everything out. Perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.